Today I'm going to cover a rather delicate subject. It's about the issues that some of us gentlemen can face when we've been riding our bikes for an extended period of time and we experience a set of sensations or lack of sensations or pain or soreness in a particular area of our bodies. Now while I'm here I will also issue an apology to any ladies that may be watching and that's because it's probably not going to be that relevant. Hopefully that's not me being sexist or mansplaining anything. It's essentially because we have, well, let's just say a collection of bodily structures that you don't. So yes, chaps, I think we've all been there from time to time. We've had the old dead slug and the numb nuts. And my understanding is that this is caused by uh, an extended period of pressure on the perineum, which is the area between the, and the, yeah, I'm sure you get the idea. And sometimes when we're sitting on the bike for a long period of time, we can cause pressure to the tubes and block them off in that area and restrict blood to those uh, bodily structures that I was talking about earlier. And that can lead to numbness and pain. Now, if this happens once in a while, um, it's nothing really to worry about. It might just be one of those things. But if it happens again and again over an extended period of time, then it really does need some attention and it does need to be sorted out. Now, the way I've had this explained to me is if you imagine a, a garden hose pipe run across your driveway. Now, from time to time, you can drive your car over that hose pipe and it will cut the water off. Um, and if you do that, you know, once in a while, that's fine. But if you're doing it every day, day after day for an extended period of time, that hose pipe will crack and it will break and you will need to replace it. And unfortunately, we can't replace the tubes inside our body. So it's best to just sort it out when we can. The first and most obvious thing that I would suggest to try and alleviate this problem is to get a decent bike fit. Now, bike fits are a very curious thing because many people are very quick to dismiss them or to poo-poo them and, and they just don't really get the value of them until, that is, they get a good one. And then riding your bike in comfort with no numbness no pain suddenly becomes incredibly valuable. Again, I would compare it to buying a new pair of shoes or a new pair of trousers. And just as you wouldn't buy ill-fitting clothes, you wouldn't want to buy an ill-fitting bike or at least ride an ill-fitting bike. You would want to at least know that you can ride it in comfort and everything fits you properly. Now, bike fits can be a little bit expensive. Um, I would suggest going to a professional bike fitter and having one done. But if you're in a position where you are buying a new bike, many bike shops will offer a bike fit service. Uh, you will need to pay for it, but more often than not, they will discount the price of the bike fit from the new bike when you buy it. So that's always a very, very good option. If a bike fit isn't perhaps for you, the next thing I would look at is your saddle. Is it at the right height compared to where the pedals are? Are you sitting on the seat properly? Um, and it's all of those things that can contribute to the, the numbness or the pain that we experience in that area. Now, um, if, if the, uh, the, the saddle is too high, then you could be putting undue pressure on that area so you will need to kind of lower it a little bit and similarly if the saddle isn't at the right position compared to your bottom then again that can cause issues in that area and start reducing blood flow so what you need to do is check everything is where it should be uh, as far as the bike is concerned Equally though, it could just be that the saddle that you've got on your bike at the moment is the wrong one. Now I have people ask me on the channel probably once a week, what saddles do I use on my bike? And up until now, 
I've just been using the bog standard saddles that come with my bike and, and I've not really had any issues with that but recently I have started to feel you know a few things not quite right there so I would like to explore some uh, different saddle options and hopefully that will uh, make my ride a little bit more comfortable and one of the things that I've been considering is looking at these saddle fitting systems that many of the saddle fit companies have so basically you go into your local bike shop and you sit on uh, some sort of rig and then that works out where your sit bones are and that is actually the key to getting a good saddle a really good saddle will support your sit bones and if your sit bones are supported the rest of that area is supported as well and hopefully you won't get any numbness or pain Now, of course, it could just be that you've been sitting in the same position for far too long. And the way you can alleviate that is with a posture break. And this is nothing more than just getting up out of the saddle, changing your position for maybe 15, 20 or 30 seconds. And that way it gives all of those tubes and bodily structures time to get blood flow back to them and reset everything that's been happening while you've been sitting on the saddle. If pain and numbness does continue in that area though, even after you've done all of these changes, then that might be the time to go and visit a medical professional. Us chaps are notoriously difficult for not going to the doctor. Um, so yeah, there shouldn't really be any embarrassment with it. Um, you just need to go, you need to get it sorted out. And very often it's something very, very simple that, that may just need a slight change and you'll be fine and there's nothing really to worry about. But the important thing is that you do get medical help. Hopefully you're not experiencing any numbness or pain at the moment, but if you are, the good news is it can be fixed relatively easy and relatively quickly. Thanks for watching.